What is going on guys? I'm Double R. Welcome back to another video. Today is drift day. So it's cold as hell. We decided to take both these cars out, get them up to town before we drive all the way out to OSW in Orlando. We're gonna have a fun day. It's like, I think eight, eight o'clock, eight thirty. What time is it? 8.33. We'll, we'll get there in time. We'll get there in time. We're running a little late, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be my second after Second ever drift event with the 240. We went over this last night. Brand new spark plugs, brand new fuel injectors, brand new fuel filter, and a couple of other things just to make sure that this car is running perfectly. We also did an oil change with the Q50, switched up a few things just to make sure both of these are maintained properly for the two hour drive that we're about to go on. All right, cool. So we got some E for the Q. We got a full tank in the 240, and we should be good to go to Orlando. A few moments later. The smell just kept happening too often. Today is drift day. Out of all things, the Q, man. I'm already like 45 minutes late. I gotta use my drift spare. Like, oh no! What? 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 Those are 19s. The size difference? Down, back. What are you trying to do, fill it up? It's hot. There's a good little montage. Your exhaust was scraping whenever. Yeah, it was. and I was trying to zoom in on it, but the camera was on the wrong setting. Oh yeah, I don't care. I know, okay. but I was trying to get yeah, it on it camera. Like screaming I was trying to get it on camera, and it was on the wrong setting. All right, so sad part of the video is over. We've already decided that the drift event's not gonna happen today, so we're just gonna stop dwelling over it and call it a day. We're on to bigger and better things. We have two 350Zs here that need to be touched, especially this one. This one hasn't been started at all. I have no idea what it sounds like, and we need to get this thing on the road as soon as possible, so that way we can have the lift again. Really, the only thing that's making this not start at the moment is power from the battery and I'm pretty sure the camshaft sensor or the crankshaft sensor uh, that we're going to install right now. Goal for today, we're gonna try and get this car back on the road as fast as possible. I don't even care if it's on these wheels. If it could start and back up, we're good. And then I'm gonna start looking for parts for that 350Z because I think I wanna start tracking that car because really all you need for a Z is just a quick exhaust and a tune and you're basically ready to go. Damn, that's so bad. At least your wiring harness is connected all the way back here. Factory style. Yeah. It's your first exhaust. I know it's heavy. Come here. <laughs> Picture. <laughs> I'm gonna build muscle just by working on cars. That's that's what we all think should happen, but it just doesn't. All right, so. We took the exhaust out of the 350Z along with the bash bar just to make things easier. Uh, we started checking around with the oil. Everything seems clean and it looks a little over full and I think that's just from it sitting from a long time. Uh, now we're just gonna go throw a battery in here and everything should start after the 
crankshaft sensors been installed. Uh, it doesn't need a radiator to start. Um, really just the MAF sensor needs to be plugged in, which we'll do. This is right here, I'm pretty sure. Not this one. It's one of these. One of these is the MAF sensor. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Yep. <laughs> Car starts, dude. Sound like a damn V8. Dude, that's the word I was looking for. I didn't know what to compare it to. I was like a damn V8. I told you, man, it was some headers. Dude. Open headers. That car, so we did that yeah, shit, sure. dude. We started that shit, dude. Your car fucking starts. That's fucking awesome. I'm gonna have Ali clean the fuck out of these with some brake parts cleaner and some scrubbies. <laughs> Honestly guys, I'm gonna cut this whole entire video short. We're tired, it's late. We woke up really early this morning expecting to go to a drift event, expecting to kind of be out all day, and we weren't. Instead, we decided to put some work into taking apart this engine. And now that we know what kind of parts that I need to get this build up and going, uh, I just ordered them all. Now we just gotta wait for them to come. But tomorrow we still got a few things that we are still able to do with the parts that we have and hopefully get this car up in on the road within, I think a week. I think a week is possible. I think we could do that. So I'm gonna cut this video short guys. I appreciate you guys for watching. Sorry, I know this is a sad part of the video where you guys don't see any drifting. I apologize for that, but uh, I'm gonna try and do my best, find as much events as I can to get as much seat time as I can, and maybe try and see if I could find some spot to where I could get some practice. So, I appreciate you guys for watching this video. If you guys stayed all the way to the end, make sure to hit that like button. That really helps this channel grow. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and share with your friends, but that's gonna be it, guys. I'm Noble R, and I'm out.